This is the new uh, resin, UV setting resin from Betfor, distributed by Vineyards. Uh, I've got the three thicknesses here, three viscosities. Each comes with a matching pair of nozzles uh, determined by diameter, so the thick stuff comes with slightly wider nozzles. Whether or not I'd use those, different issue. Um, and this is the Vineyard branded uh, torch with a, a single LED, quite a powerful UV torch. Sets this resin pretty well. Now this is a, a clean setting resin. Um, sets without a, a layer of oily stuff on the surface. The viscosities are clearly different, um, which is not a pun. Um, but they're they're really quite different. The thin stuff is extremely uh, runny. The thick stuff is good for building um, volume. Um, the medium stuff is probably the one that's going to get used the most. Pack quantities are quite small, but the price is quite cheap. So uh, swings and balances. My really really my only reservation, my only criticism of this is that if you can tell which of these is which from that range, from looking at the screen, I'd be really surprised. Um, the the labelling, but that has been addressed and it is being, um, the labels are being changed. Um, I like the resin quite a lot. It's It sets really hard and a, it sets without any sort of um, residue on the surface. So that's the bet for UV setting resin. I want to show the, the, the nozzle on the bottle and how these open. Um, this is the nozzle here. The, the Sorry, this is the cap here. That unscrews to reveal a small stubby nozzle. Now I can screw on one of these tips to that. I don't need to take off this, um, which is the whole cap. Um, I can work with that. This is the high viscosity. This is a thick one. Um, and if I squeeze the tube to get some out, there we go. You can see it's quite a it's quite a thick consistency, quite stringy. It can um, include bubbles, which I find it it's more difficult to get bubbles out of um, thick stuff than thin stuff. So that's the the high viscosity, high build, I suppose you'd call it. If I set it with a torch. It's now hot and hard. This next one is medium viscosity, which may not show up too well, but we'll see. There you can see that it's running and it flows. Um, that would be um, self-leveling, I would call that. It's not stupidly runny, but it is. Um, it's, you can see how flat it's going after a few seconds and then fix it with the torch and no bubbles in this one. You can see that the, the viscosity has an effect on how you include bubbles and fix the bubbles inside the stuff. Now this is the, the low viscosity which is much runnier. Um, it's like a, a, a an old-fashioned varnish or head cement, and it soaks into basically everything. It soaks into the paper even. That's now set. Now these are all hard. Um, they actually are. the The most noticeable one was the the high the high um, the high viscosity one. When I, I tried that, I could snap this. It was a, a long piece that I, I made. Um, it was brittle enough to break. That's not normal, that, well that's not necessarily typical of all resins. Some of them have got a bit more flex in them. Um, whether that's going to affect fishing or not, I have no idea. I wouldn't, wouldn't like to guess. So that's how they um, are in on paper or in action. You can see how that thin one's actually soaked right into the paper. Um, the medium one, I think, is the one that's going to be most used.